a Palestinian committed a terrorist attack last night here in America, and it's getting no news coverage. supporting the genocide maybe you have to do something about it stand up for the right side and really look at the freaking right freaking news maybe you should do this yes yeah, sir mm -hmm. Guys, I'm sorry. This guy, I, I this wish I could more for my country. Uh, these uh, brothers in the building. Brothers I in the school. Stop over here because she's talking to you. So what's going on? You, you own this place. Yeah. Somebody lives here. So uh, it's, a, it's a home or it's a. It's a commercial. It's a commercial. As far as structurally, everything's fine. They'll be able to pull the car out. I'll call their insurance and they'll get it boarded up. So. Okay. I'm where. Pretty confident with everything right now. Well, I'm pretty sure that she, she said she did it on purpose, so okay. it's not a match. Pretty close yeah, clarity. I mean, but it's just so far in the east, just so that they're aware of it. If you pull that car out, that kind of thing. Okay. If you feel like you need to call us back for anything, I feel like we're okay, but feel free to call us back. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Be careful tonight, buddy. See you guys. See you guys. All right. It's not like this is an intentional act. She's against whatever. She says she's from Palestine, so I'm not sure exactly. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. We slow took over well, this there. is this this is the third third, third uh, incident. Oh, it is. Yeah, they first somebody uh, vandalized the building. Uh -huh. So what? Is, vandalized what is, the what is, what is the building? We the, we the Israelite School of Universal Practical okay. Knowledge. Okay. So we basically okay. teach that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of the Lord. Okay. So we basically teach that uh, for our people to keep the commandments. We are not associated with the white Jews, or the Caucasian Jews, or none of that over there. You know, so we start out of Harlem, New York. One West on 25th Street, Harlem, New York. Okay. So she is mistaken and somehow taking anger out on us, gotcha. thinking we're associated with them when we're not associated with them in no way. Gotcha. I follow you. Know. What's your name, man? Uh, Captain Kaposh. Say what it was and say what time you was here and everything. Um, it, was, it was probably around 11, 15, somewhere around that. Right, right. Um, this, this black Impala pulled into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Flash her lights on me. I was in my car. You was right I, here in the car. I was in my car. Uh -huh. I jumped out of my car, and then she pulled up onto the grass, uh, and then she back, back really fast, as fast as she could, and she hit the house. Mm. And so when you came up to the door, what happened? So you you seen her crash into the building? I seen her crash to the building. She um I, w I went to see if she was okay first, and then and she was acting like she was she was scared of me. She didn't want to talk to me, and, and started talking to him. And so I just I just kind of left it alone after that. So to come, come on. So after she, when when you came out and she didn't want to talk to him, where was you at when you just walked up to her? Cause she was still in the car. Yeah, when that we happened? both walked up to her because I asked her what the hell happened. 
So walked up to her, I asked for her ID immediately. Because she was like, call the cops. I'm like, no, give me your ID. And then I talked to you. Mm -hmm. Told you about the situation. Tried to record as much as I could. Told the lady about the situation you know, with us living here. We live here. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you attacking the wrong people. We ain't sending money to Palestine or Israel, whichever one. Mm -hmm. We ain't the ones sending billions of dollars. We don't mm -hmm. even got that. So then when you talk to her, you got her ID, then what she do? She just kept going in her language. I don't mm -hmm. know what the specific language is for Palestinians or whatever it is. She just, you know, the whole nine, just talking in her language. And then eventually it was like, free Palestine, free Palestine. We are black people. We have nothing Genocide. going on. Yeah, we're not the ones genociding your people. We're not the ones that making those decisions to make sure those people are putting down. So why are you attacking us? And then she kept, she was like a robot, just stuck on repeat, kept saying that. Even mm -hmm. though I kept hitting her with more and more facts, it was just like she was a robot, just stuck saying that. Yeah, she must, they must have trained her what to say when, when you, afterwards, just say this over and over again. She eventually started losing a little bit of her spirit, but she still kept going more and more, especially when the cops came. That's them. There we go. That's the news, man. Yeah. So she kept going on and on. So when I called 911, I called 911 after talking to you called them they sent the firefighters before they sent the cops which is confusing to me because when i said it was like a, you know i said it was a terrorist attack because literally it is verbatim so they sent the firefighters first firefighters really didn't do nothing besides just look at the vehicle and see if it was intentionally you know damaging the house they said the structural integrity was good mm -hmm. apparently the structural integrity was good enough so they could have just towed it out and that's what they said but i'm confused on why the firefighters got here first before the cops because this is a hate crime. This is a terrorist attack. This is something that happened right. on the land. So, as far as I know, they don't yeah, care right. about us. Yeah, I'm right. See the car? All right. And they got her under arrest. She admitted it, said uh, she had to do something about it. But she said she, uh, because of the war and blah, 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 and stuff like that. So she admitted it. I got the other brother trying to call the news now. They got a, 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 a wrap around her face, so you can't see her face except her mouth. Yeah, well, yeah, she got, it's a Muslim guard thing, but it's wrapped around her face. I'm the one who, uh, who runs the building. I'd like, I'd like to see her face if I could. No. Well, she's okay. not letting me freaking fix my hijab, my cover. I don't have a problem with the pictures and the recording, but you're not going to walk up in my office when we're with somebody. you got to stay 25 feet back while we're talking with her. We're out there in the active investigation. You can't open the doors, you can't be touching the car or anything like that. Okay? We don't want to touch it. We want it moved. <laughs> as soon as the, the people from the fire department says that this, this place won't fall down and I can get it towed and pulled out of there, I'm right there with you, but i gotta wait for I got to wait for them to give me the all clear before I do that. All right, sir. Okay? I'm really glad that nobody is hurt. You, you had a question? Yeah, yeah, if I could, sir. Um, so I want to know, shouldn't this fall under hate crime right here? So, like I told you, the difference between state and federal. Right. Okay. State statutes, there's not really too many enhancers for what you would call the hate crime. That's more of a federal issue. However, we do have boxes that we can refer it to. So basically, all this is going to be put into one narrative, one probable cause affidavit. It'll go to the prosecutor, and then the prosecutor will decide what they want to do with it. They may try the prosecutor here, or they may send it to a federal prosecutor and see if they want to process it off of that. But we have no control over federal prosecution, and I can't comment on federal prosecution because my certifications is state down, state level down. Okay. If this were a church or a synagogue that was attacked, this would be all over the news. But because the mainstream media does not agree with us claiming to be the true children of Israel, they don't think this deserves coverage. And let me just say this. If you ignore this and sweep this underneath the rug, do not be surprised when this happens to other people here in America.